All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh my god, I just punched the mic. Dear Lord. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, okay, so, two things. I upgraded the settlement a little bit, and uh, we have a new wish mission right there, up in the corner, a wise friend. And uh, we're going to do that before we go regroup with Soma. And on the Soma front... I think um, I figured out who might be the uh, traitor because I found the long ship in the fens while I was out hunting, you know, just hunting animals, killing boars and stuff. So uh, we're going to reveal all that information when we go see her, but let's go see who's arrived. Eivor. What a Welcome. pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. Aww. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And... Your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Well, that's good to hear. Volka! God, Seppo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you're so optimistic about it. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Of course. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. Honest All work? All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. It says more than you intend, I think. Volka always coming in with the smart retorts. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. <laughs> I have no idea. He's you also speaking Latin. Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. Not a problem. Settle in, relax, Volka. Welcome home. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, 
We can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Oh, That was sweet. That was real sweet. Okay, we need 60, uh, what is it, raw materials? Which I constantly find myself in a shortage of. Wait, what is that? What, what is that? I don't know. We have a new quest in dreams. Oh, that's build Volka's house. Okay, so let's actually um, go back to find Soma. Track that. And we'll finally tell her who we think, uh, or no, we can talk to the other guys first, too. I think. Okay. So, where it's the, down that way across the river. Oh, jeez. Just get some iron. We go to find Soma. Oh my god, roads don't actually use stamina. That's interesting. Oh wait, we rode past some, uh, some wealth. Wait, where is it? In here? Okay. Maybe we can descend from the top. Wait, can I just... Yes, I can. That works even better than wasting ammo. Wait, why am I... Oh, God. Who puts a brazier right... Okay. Pull, pull back. There we go. Nope, nope, let go. There we go. Uh, there's a few other pieces of wealth around here. Do we want to grab them or just continue on? Let's, uh... Oh, there's a tattoo place here. Let's grab at least one more and then go continue on. I might stop at the tattoo place to see what some of the new ones we picked up are. But other than that, there's not too much for us to uh, distract ourselves with. <gasps> Leafs inventory. Okay, so he's struggling to find yellow paint. Like... Like normal, they said it was expensive and hard to make, which makes sense. Because most non-common color paints like yellow, purple, sometimes green, things that were not common in berries and such, were just, uh, you know, hard. They were hard to make. Yeah. Okay, so that was his home. Are they around here somewhere? Can I talk to them again? Find them? Oh, 
here's somebody. Can I talk to you? What's up? Did anything strange happen before the attack on Grandbridge? I saw two Saxons riding past the city while I was on guard. One to the Melbourne Monastery and one toward the uh, Utbeck camp. I think they were messengers. I didn't think anything of it since they weren't coming here. Okay. What is Utbeck? Oh, here. Here, I did sail past here. When I was looking for the, uh, the, f the, uh, longboat. <gasps> and hunting down some animals. What can I get for you? Wait, are you the stable hand? I thought I was asking somebody about what happened. Uh, let's see what riding training they got. Uh, strength training, endurance training. Swimming, trying to add screen, All done. whatever. I'll see you later, friend. Where are they? Are they near Selma? Or are they just littered throughout here? Oh, there's somebody. Hail. Did you see anything strange on the night before the attack? I saw someone run from the outskirts of Grant Bridge to the shore, just before the fighting started. Too dark to see who. Okay. To the shore being where, exactly? Like, which, which area? <laughs> the shore doesn't help me. Give me a direction. Is there, um, there's a shore that way. And let's go see if we can find our beloved. Oh, they're all here, or at least a few of them are. Did you see anything strange on the night of the attack? Hmm. Come to think of it, I noticed one of the longships wasn't where it usually is. It was beached further north, on the riverbank. Where was this? Northeast of here, along the shore. It's been a few days, though. May not be there now. Okay. The one that was probably coated in paint like we saw a child? You would imagine we would run out of work at some point. <laughs> What the? Okay. Come back <laughs> any time, my friend. Are you, uh... Merchants? Hello and welcome. Yeah, you are. Okay. Um, let's sell all the trinkets. This will be perfect for someone else. Nothing else? Nope. Not now. I must I'm doing an investigation. Leave. So long. You'll get nothing out of me. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains. Caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. 
Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz. The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you. May God have mercy on you. <laughs> That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Okay, so that only kind of. Only kind of slightly confirms my suspicions because the lot okay the long ship we found was um it mentioned gallon in like in the poems that are inscribed on it however that doesn't mean it can't be stolen because that that does happen with a lot of things so you know it's at most hearsay Okay, I don't know what that was for. Oh, it's a saga page. Wait, there's there's wealth down here and I didn't get it. Oh Jesus. Up we go. Let's talk to Soma. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Alright, let's... Um... Let's come back I to I need that. more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Cause it's... Cause we were told to go to Utbeck. Round here. Now the ship was like... Oh lord, I think it was either here or up here, I, I'm forgetting. But we're gonna go to Utbeck and see what we can find there. I'm fairly certain who it is, but if we find some evidence of ship theft, then, uh, you know. Okay. For evidence in Grand Bridge, look for evidence in the swamps. Look for the swamp, yellow longship in the swamps. Is this? Yes, it is. Can I? I can raid the place too. Let's do it. Oh god, they got a standard bearer. Hello. Oh god. Oh my god, we just yeeted him! Fighting in the muck in the water. Leave no survivors and search for crew clues about Grant Bridge. Give up, you shit! <laughs> Nobody in here, but there's a chest.
Hopefully if we find a commander, they'll bring me his head at least, and him alive at most. Flank around. Your time is gone. Is with me. Good, good. No. Get it away from me. Ah. Archer just standing there. Kill every heathen dog in Grand Bridge. Set, uh, but do not set fire to the longship in yellow. Okay, that. Find the key. That didn't tell us what we wanted, but you know. It told us enough. Oh, you're new? A brandisher? Oh! Oh! Oh, God, I just destroyed his head! Where's the key? Did I pick that up? Look at this headless corpse. Oh my god. Alright, I think we did pick it up, so let's try to open the chest now. House Carl's axe. Looks like a nice axe, too. Bearded axe, that means it's probably two handed. Okay, so coming here didn't tell us much. Or really, it didn't tell us anything new. It just tells us that uh, they directly knew, uh, or Wigman directly ordered not to attack that ship. Are we good on the raid? I think so. Yeah, but we, it was like right there, I think. Everybody's back on the ship, so I we're think good to go. And I'll show it to you. Some sort of fort there. Sail and then after that, we're gonna go back to Grant Bridge and see if I can find. Oh wait, um. Are these just, uh... There were three separate... Whatever, we'll see. We'll see what it is. Oh my god, I can't see a thing in this fog! Yeah, as you can see, it's right there. And these bandits are back. Hey. Get to the others. 
Get out of conflict. Who's still alive? Shit! Get to the others! Right! Oh, get God. back to the ship! I never get tired of that. This long ship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? Yes, indeed. Hello! How you doing, Black Jesus? Alright, now let's, uh, head back to Grant Bridge. I'm alright, man. I'm alright. There's no, there is really no direct fast travel point there, so here we go. Okay, now all we gotta do is search at those three little points. Where does this zip line go? Nowhere extremely useful, but good enough. Good boy, Ragnar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so these three different points, do they lead to each individual warrior? Eivor, you look like the wind has flecked your sails. What's going on? I was wondering. Uh, you told me you uh, don't think someone's a great leader. Yellow paint was stolen. Found your paint bucket. I found your yellow paint barrel near the river. Did you? It was stolen from my workshop not long ago. I found it on the riverbank. It was empty. Uh, your yellow paint was you stolen. You said your yellow paint was stolen before the attack. Should have started with that. And yellow is not an easy pigment to mix, let alone acquire. I was furious it was stolen. Uh, were you jealous that Guthrum chose Soma to lead? How do you know this letter about, uh... I found this odd letter telling Saxon forces not to attack any longship painted yellow. I never painted any longship yellow beyond a few small touches. It's expensive. I know of no such litter. Okay, uh... Where did you see the night bef the night of the attack? How did the night of the attack play out from your view? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. Okay, good to hear. Um... You told me you often disagree with Soma's orders. I do, but I follow them. It's my duty to this clan, to my Yal's Kona. A man's honor comes from his acts, not his wishes. Okay. How did you feel when Guthrum named Soma the steward of Grand Bridge and not you? If being honorable were easy, we would have no evil men. It is something I... I wanted, sure. But I'm a man of honor, above all. A dedicated approach. Okay. We'll we'll come back to you. I want you to. I want to speak openly with me. Leaf, someone showed the Saxons the Longhouse Tunnel. Where were you when the attack started? What were you doing? When the fighting started, I was in my workshop decorating a sail for our allies in Grimsby, without my yellow paint. 
By the time Soma gathered me to retreat, the city was under attack from within. I was nowhere near the tunnel. Nowhere. Okay. Let's go meet the other two. Like, I'm pretty certain, like, I've ruled out Berna in my head already. Because if you're in love with somebody, you're not going to try to get them killed, no matter what animes will tell you, but still. So, like, if I question, if I find her and question her, it's going to be a formality, mostly. I want to see what's up with her, how she's doing, how she's feeling, all that. Is this her? Or no, that's his gallon. And it seems like I kind of have to question her. Uh, Herbivus on her shields, land on its banners. Uh, the mountain, I cannot balance on the peak. One must fall. Eivor, this is a surprise. I was wondering. Uh, what do your visions about Soma mean? Why were you wandering on the brink of death? Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. You saw the end of it. Wolves almost took me. Mm-hmm. Um... Why were you at Death's door when Soma found you? I left my clan to pursue my vision. I don't remember much. The sacred plans addled my memory. But I was hungry for more visions. You may not understand, but Soma does. She knows the gods have a plan for me, and that following it is worth any risk. And what does your visions from the gods say about her? The visions you've had about you and Soma. How do you interpret them? A piercing question. I believe it means that Soma will lead me to greatness, however difficult. That she is linked to my destiny. Right. Um... I found a letter to the Saxons from Wickmund. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. Strange. Only Leaf would have the tools to alter the color of our longships. Something to ask him about. Right, right, right. Yeah, definitely. Why was your longship painted yellow? Was it yellow? I don't recall. You could ask Leaf. He's our shipmaster. Right. I'm trying to find who betrayed Soma to the Saxons. I could use your help. I wish I could help. The night of the attack, I was meditating on the shore, far from prying eyes. I was alone that night. And until Saxons appeared, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I hope that's enough. All right, Galen, all right. Yeah, good thing a few witnesses told me that somebody went to the shore. Let's see what Bjarna was doing. I'm sure nothing as suspicious. Okay, where is she? Because there are two different... Okay, those don't appear on the map. Um... Is this her right up here? I hope so. No, this is just a person. Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. Right, yeah, of course. I would be too. Let's just uh, talk to Bjorna. These bags are Bjornas, packed for a long journey. Interesting. Not to Birna. I am not noble. Honor is noise to me, but the first time, uh, but for the first time, I wonder what the better thing to uh, is the better thing to do—to stay at your elbow, smiling with thorn in my chest, or to leave 
you behind and pull the bard from me. I will stay, but only as long as you need me. Well, you're not the regular sunbeam I've come to know. Something weighing on you. Absolutely. I Let's was talk. wondering on a few things. You love Soma, you used to be a smuggler. I found your things packed for a long journey. Were you planning to travel? If I had betrayed the city, I'd be gone now, wouldn't I? No, I stayed. I'm happier near Soma with a broken heart than far away with a heart still longing. Right, because you love it her. must ache to serve under someone you love so deeply, one who doesn't love you back. Some days the pain hits hard. I need to press my hand into my heart to keep it from digging through my chest. Okay. You are a smuggler. Some would say that's not a trustworthy past. And water is wet. What a surprise. I'm an opportunist. I see a chance, I take it. It's helped Soma so far. She knows what I am, what I was. But she trusts me. Who would better know the difference between a joke and the truth? Right. <laughs> I just thought about she said water is wet. And I'm like, yeah, but some people have a different opinion about that now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh why did like I've, i i i had a friend who had a uh, the opinion that water was not wet and it blew my mind uh what did you see the night of the attack what happened the night of the attack the people were at peace a beautiful night fog and all then came the saxons all around and soma roaring like a great bear when she called a retreat we ran for the longboats aiming to regroup in the swamps it was an ambush, no more, no less. I found a letter telling the Saxons not to attack a longship painted yellow. None of our longships are painted yellow, I don't think. All right, speak plainly. Someone in the city let the Saxons through the Longhouse Tunnel. When the fighting started, where were you? Drinking with my warriors in the Longhouse. When the Saxons came, I fought. I couldn't have shown anyone the tunnel. Eyes were on me all day and night. Which makes sense if you were in the tavern, or in the longhouse. Alright. I, th I think I'm a little solidified in my conclusion, so... I'm pretty sure it's Galen. Let's go tell Soma about it. Did you find enough clues around Grampardshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? A bystander saw someone at, uh... A local said they saw someone running from the outskirts of the city to the river, just before the attack. Did they recognize the person? No, they couldn't be seen in the fog, but whoever it was, they knew something bad was coming. I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there is a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know. Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. All right, back. Let's go down the list. Birna was packed for a long journey the night of the attack. You think she wanted to leave us? I think she was prepared to leave, that's certain. Birna used to be a smuggler. Hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Right, right. Birna was drinking in the longhouse when the attack began. Others can attest to that. Hardly the behavior of someone expecting an attack. Very true. Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. And we'll go down the list for Leaf next. Save the best for last. Leaf wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leaf has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif told me he was working in a shipyard the night of the attack. The shipyard is exposed, and far from the tunnel entrance. 
Not the ideal man to lead Saxons into the city. Not from that vantage point. Leaf disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leaf said he lost his yellow paint. Leaf told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. And I did find I them. found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? And finally... He's obsessed with his visions, has no alibi. Gallon told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? True, we all do, but uh, he's a little obsessed. Gallon puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape. And Galen sees an important meaning. Galen had no alibi. No one can place his location on the night of the attack. He's an odd one, that man. But he is a man, not a toddler. He doesn't need a constant watch. Yes, but... I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Pretty sure it's Galen. Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. Okay, I'm with you. I have an iron sword. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny. Carry me to the summit of victory. Do not warp what is real <sighs> with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours? <gasps> <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. Will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Thor himself could now drink. Okay. 
We have ended the stench of treachery. Ah, a thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Oh, oh God, I don't have time for that. Is it the silver or the courage you're lacking? No, it's it's My the time, really. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, no. I see that, and it reminds me. I did, while also exploring, I found, um... We're gonna take this and try to upgrade it when we get back to, uh, bit back home. But I, I found this, uh, kite shield. And I would use it, except the problem is that I can only... Do, like, a shield wall formation with it. I can't, like, excuse me, move forward and, uh and block and so you know moving forward and keeping on the move is sort of congruent with my play style it sucks but you know all right so we're meeting them there Okay. There we go. Oh no, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's stand on this and summon my uh my ship. Horses right there, horse can swim. Horse. Come on, Ragnar. <laughs> it's a hundred and thirty inland. So you know what? in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. <laughs> Alright, Soma. You ready? Can I Soma, Eivor. You're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Yes. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. All right, good. I'm glad I did call my ship, because we're about to raid this damn monastery. Let's go. Kill Wigman and take him to Helheim. There's wealth in there. We're coming from the south. They're coming from, I believe that's the west in relation to the monastery. Yeah. So this will be good. Oh, someone's with me. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. 
Lightning tingles my blood. I All right. All out brawl. There we go. You cannot delay your fate. See trash talking from the sky, or not the sky, but the, uh, from the highest tower in the monastery or something. I lay bait for your life, Wigman. Oh, Must damn. be luck from the other Locked. side. I need to find a way in. Oh. There we go. This door. Can we force our way inside? Yes. Hey, can't do this alone. In here, man. Hey, come here. There we go. Some raw materials. We can finish uh, Volka's home when we get back. Right, there's some wealth in here. Supplies this way, and I see a go underground area in the, or a tunnel underground in the map. <laughs> Can I break through? No. I'm gonna need some help forcing my way in, so let's uh, let's clear them out outside. And through the chest. With his head. Anything? Anything? No. Oh, good one. Teamwork. We'll force in through here. Just saved one of your lives, so come on. Pray for your sins. Got it? Hey, come here a moment. I mean, he's just. Wigman is trapped. He can't really do anything. out of the marsh. 
Okay, they just knew where we were camped. Overflow the rest of the monastery. I love just giving orders like they can fucking hear me. <laughs> Come, help me with this. Hold on, nobody's near me. Let's pick up this guy. Let's get her up. You're good. Thanks, You're good to go. We can force him through that door because it'll take us to the same place. I think. I hope. Hey, come here. You gonna help, Soma? You can't kill me, Soma. Not truly. What I am is unkillable. Stop flapping your mouth and die. Good soldier. All right, let's force this open. Give me a hand over here. And then we'll make sure Wigman is dead. Anything else? me from your minds fight in my name die for me die for me that is no way to go for sacrifices their lives for yours is that how it works their lives meant nothing no land no riches no titles but my name will live on the reputation of a good man never dies but your name will soon be a curse So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! Yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you get to see it. We should return to camp, before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Yeah, it makes sense. I get it. <laughs> Is she still following me? Because I'm going underground now. Because I want that ability book. Where is it? Where's the tunnel? Oh, like right here. Huh? 
Could I have led my men through here? I don't think so. Although it would have been cool. It would have been real cool. Like to scout out the place first. Yeah, the bard from the other side doesn't really matter. What I get? Over here. Oh yes. Yeah, we're replacing the yeeting. We're replacing the yeet. Back up we go. Oh my god! Where's Cam? Alright, back this way. Oh, there's my second. I wonder if I can change what weapon she uses. I think it said everything was final, but you know, we'll go back to this to uh, Raven's Thorpal check. Do that. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery. Made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Yalskuna, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grandbridge and the people in it. That is noble and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? 
I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Alright, we've got new allies and a new friend, so uh, when we return, we're gonna... Our choices, okay. When we return, we're gonna go back home and meet up with Ranvi, tell her everything that's good, everything that we've encountered. Now, it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell and, her the uh, good news. If you're on YouTube and watching, thank you so much, and if you're on Twitch, uh, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment.